Hey guys, I want to share with you my push-up technique that I've been using for a few years, both with myself um, and with my clients, to be able to build sufficient strength in the chest and progress with push-ups. Um, I've talked to a lot of people who are very frustrated about not being able to develop uh, the strength and be able to do push-ups on their toes or be able to do clap push-ups or weighted push-ups. Uh, and so I wanted to share this technique video. Firstly, uh, I want to go through where your shoulders should be set up. I see a lot of people doing push-ups hoping to get stronger in the chest uh, and doing push-ups with their elbows out here and pressing um, quite wide. So a wide push-up is definitely good for the chest, but not if your elbows are up here. Let me go through a little test with you. Grab uh, your pec major, big chest muscle, and uh, have your elbow here up high and press through. Now keep pressing as hard as you can as if you're, as if you're pushing, pushing against the wall. Now slowly bring that elbow underneath until it's closer to your rib. And what you'll find is that you'll get more muscle activation through the pec. So that tells us that when we should set up a push-up, it, it'll be here. So a, qu a quick little tip, when you set up for a push-up, imagine there's a triangle between your eye level and your two hands, an equilateral triangle. And if you set your push-up like, like that, you're gonna be using much more of the chest. Now this is difficult to just go straight to the floor and do a push-up. So we have five different progressions in this video to show you um, where to start with your push-up. Now the way to pick the progression is find the one that you can do currently well for five sets of five reps. So if you can get through that, pro that progression, that's the one where you want to start and you will develop and get stronger if you do that regularly. Now those are the training with me. Um, I'll have something programmed for you so that you do see the improvement uh, and the correct, correct uh, rep scheme, but it's up to you to choose the right progression. And again, if you're not sure about the technique, film it and send it on back to me. Here's the five progressions that I use. Setting ourselves up for a good push up. Like I said, we want our eye level and our two hands to make a triangle. So we're kind of leaning forward. The more you lean forward, the more difficult the exercise will be. Next thing we want to do is round our back, squeeze our glutes and make sure that we've got our ankles, knees, hips and shoulders all in one line. Then we come down into the push-up. Now, the breathing is really important. We want to breathe out as we press and breathe in on the way down. We want to keep our belly strong, our glutes engaged, so we can come up and down as one unit. Typically, what I see a lot of is people strong on the way down, and then strong to here, and then weak from this position up where their hips sag. So if that's the case with you, you need to work on the core and glute strength and really squeeze and breathe hard as you press out of the push-up. If that's too difficult to do for you on the ground, don't do them on your knees to build strength. We've got to raise the box height and keep that body straight, keep your feet, your toes on the ground and press for five reps or whatever the reps I designate to give you uh, and stay under control through these different box heights. So there we have it, we've got five different progressions for you to be able to slowly and surely build strength in the push-up. Remember one thing, the technique is the most important. So don't sacrifice the technique just because you want to get to the next progression. No such thing as a shortcut with this kind of strength. You've just got to do it uh, over time, consistently, and then you'll see improvement.